Do you struggle to decide which task manager to use? Do you find yourself flipping back and forth between task managers? If so, this is the video for you. My name is Peter, and in this video, I'm going to compare Things 3 and OmniFocus 3. And in particular, I'm going to compare a very important part of using a task manager, and that is actually getting your tasks into your task manager. Because what's the point of using a task manager if it doesn't contain all of your tasks? Now, I've used OmniFocus for a long time. I'm a big OmniFocus fan, and I even created a course about using OmniFocus to get stuff done. And if you want to check out that course, by the way, just look at the description of the video. But I also really like Things 3. And sometimes I find that just based on how busy I am or what you know my mood has been lately, that every now and then I like to switch to things just to mix things up. And in particular, OmniFocus is a pretty sophisticated piece of software, and I love it for that. And when I've got lots of complex projects going on, OmniFocus is fantastic, but sometimes my life is a little slower. I have a little bit less to do, and then I just enjoy looking at the beautiful interface of things. So both are great pieces of software. I'm just going to compare in this video what it's like to add a task to both of these uh, apps, and I'm going to do that in three different ways. When you're at your computer not working in the task manager, when you're at your computer working in the task manager, and when you're just out and about you think of something to do and you want to add a task on your phone. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself smaller so that you can actually see the apps that I'll be working with. There we go. Put myself in the corner over there. Um, let's start by adding a task to OmniFocus. Now I'm going to pull up Quick Entry because as if I'm working in a different app and I think of something to do. So pull up Quick Entry with Control Option Space. And let's say I just remembered that I got to pick up some drugs from the pharmacy on Monday. So I'll say pick up drugs from the pharmacy. So I got that type, then I'll hit tab and I'll assign this to the health project because I have a project for health related things. I'll assign the next tag. And uh, if you would like to learn about the next tag, you can watch some of my other videos here on YouTube about OmniFocus or you can uh, go ahead and enroll in my OmniFocus 3 video course using the next tag in combination with defer dates. I mean, that's just a fantastic feature and, and I highly recommend that you enroll in the course and learn about it because it'll make you a lot more productive. Um, but yeah, let's move on. And so let's say I want to pick up my drugs from the pharmacy on Monday. It's Friday right now. It's later already and the pharmacy is closed. So I want to do this Monday. So just type Monday. That's it. Boom. Now the task is in OmniFocus. This is pretty easy, right? Let's do the same thing in things. Uh, for me, it's control space is my quick entry in things window. Maybe for you, it's uh, it's a different shortcut. I don't know if I modified the default, but you can check, uh, check that out in the things uh, preferences. Pick up drugs from the pharmacy. Now, what's the next thing I got to do? The next thing I got to do is I got to set a time or like a day to do this. So in OmniFocus, you've got defer dates and due dates. Defer dates means OmniFocus will try and hide this task from you until a particular day. That makes sense. I can't pick up my drugs until Monday, so I don't want OmniFocus to even show me this task until Monday. And of course, OmniFocus also has due dates. If you need to do something by Thursday, you put a due date of Thursday and OmniFocus will, will warn you, right? Things as a deadline feature. And so the deadline feature is the same thing as the due dates in OmniFocus. But then there's the other dates in things. And they're not quite the same as in OmniFocus. There are no defer dates in things. Instead, in things, you just say, when do you think you want to get to this task? So in this case, I can just go ahead and click Monday right here. And when Monday rolls around, uh, under the today view in things, I will see uh, this task coming up. And that's great. Now, I, I can see it in other views as well. Things that isn't really trying to hide it from me. And that's one of the reasons why for some people, OmniFocus is a bit of a better choice. If you've got like 500 possible tasks you could do, first of all, if you've got 500 possible tasks you could do, maybe you want to evaluate what you're doing. <laughs> but other, other than that, um, OmniFocus does a better job at hiding the ones that are not good for you to work on right now. And in things, things doesn't really hide those as well. But if you don't have too many tasks, that's actually not a problem. Um, could actually be a big benefit. All right, I'm going to assign a project. I'm going to assign the health project here as well. And uh, I could add some tags, but I don't like to do that in things. I could add a checklist, but I really don't need to. And I could add a deadline, but th there really is no deadline. I should do this Monday. If I don't do it, it's fine. Nothing, nothing serious will happen. So click Save. So I thought that was pretty easy. Now, what does that look like if we do that in the app itself? Again, let's go to OmniFocus, and I've got the, the inbox open up here. I can just go Command N, create a new task, pick up drugs from the pharmacy. And it's exactly the same, the health project, the next tag, defer until Monday. Very easy, very fast. I love it. And uh, if you switch perspectives, 
uh, OmniFocus will actually clear that out of the inbox because I assigned a project. It was fast. So far, so good. So far, I like both of these. Now, let's open things and add something to the inbox. I'm going to hit Command N again and say, pick up drugs from the pharmacy. Same thing, same thing. I can just type, okay, I want to do this on Monday, right? And I can go ahead and click here and move it to my health project. Boom. One to do was move out of the inbox. Thanks, things. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> All right. So that was really easy, right? I like the experience a little bit better in things just because it looks nicer. But in the end, it's a very similar experience and it just depends on uh, your preference. But I will say that in OmniFocus, let me pull up quick entry again. You can do a little bit more, right? You can put the defer date. And especially if we actually go back to OmniFocus, uh, and just um, grab a test task. If you're adding it in the inbox, you'll see that you've got a lot of options here, right? A lot of options. In things, you don't really have that. If I'm pulling up things and I look at a uh, test task, there's not that sidebar with a thousand options. There's really very, um, there's really a, a limited set of options here. And that's fine. I mean, for most people, the options in things are going to be uh, just plenty. But it's a good thing to know that in OmniFocus, you can go a lot more granular. It's a lot more sophisticated. Um, you can really customize the system to your own needs, whereas Things just tries to get out of the way a little bit. And Things is a bit more opinionated as well about how it wants you to do things, which is uh, is not a bad thing. That can, be, that can be a good thing. So again, I like both of these systems so far. Um, just a bit of a different approach. Now, finally, let's see what's it like when you're on the go and you want to... Uh, add a task to either OmniFocus or things on your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and, and move myself out of the way, and we're actually going to switch to my iPhone, which I've got set up here. It's the first time I'm recording like this, folks, so it's, it's very exciting for me. I will trust my computer. There we go. Oh, whoops, nope. There we go. All right, so I can go ahead and open up OmniFocus. And if I want to add a task to OmniFocus, um, I can just go ahead and click the in the bottom right here, and I can start typing pick up drugs from the pharmacy. Now you'll see that OmniFocus gives me quite a lot of options here. I can add a note, I can add attachments, I can add a tag, and I am going to add my next tag. I can choose the project, so of course I'm going to choose my health project again. I can set a flag, which I don't like to do. I can set a due date. I can choose notifications. I can click show more and get even more options, right? And I can defer this until Monday, which I will do. I will do that. And you have to scroll here a little bit. And so let's let's remember that, that that's how it works. I'll go ahead and click save and that's done. That's fairly easy, but I actually prefer the things way of doing it. So in things, I can hit this plus right here and add a task to the inbox, right? Or I can actually go ahead, let me just delete these or I can go and drag this little plus to the bottom left over here. It says add to inbox. I really love that because I can do that from anywhere in things, no matter where I am. So let's say uh, I'm in my logbook. I can actually go boom. All right. And now here I can add something to the inbox. So let's do that. So let's say pick up drugs from the pharmacy. Now you'll see that there's way fewer options than there are in OmniFocus, right? I can assign it to the correct project. I can assign a date, which I will do. And there's a few other things. I can add some notes and everything. But there's just generally, it's a cleaner interface and there's less to do. And so that's fine. So I can go ahead and, and save that. But let me, uh, let me get myself back. All right, there we go. So as you can see, adding tasks is fine. It's really fine both on OmniFocus and things. But the experience is a little bit different because OmniFocus gives you more options. And if that will tend to stress you out, then maybe that's not the right choice for you. Uh, at the same time, if you know, oh, you know, I don't want to think about this task until I can work on it sometime in the future, then you'll really appreciate defer dates, uh, which things doesn't have. So th this was my comparison of OmniFocus and things and adding tasks, getting tasks into your task manager, which is such a key, key part of using a task manager. Now, uh, I'd love to hear from you what else you'd like me to see compare uh, other features between OmniFocus and things, or um, maybe like to compare other task managers. If you'd like me to do that, just let me know. Just leave a comment on the video below. And if you like this video, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of this. Finally, uh, go check out some of the, some of the free um, materials that I've got listed in the description of the video if you'd like to learn more uh, particularly about OmniFocus. Whew. I think we're done. All right. Have a fantastic day.